Are you sure you are catching me? Yes, sir. Spirit of power. Spirit of love. Spirit of sound mind. Is what you need. To confront and defeat fear. Amen. What about spirit of love? This is the spirit that makes you understand. How much God loves you. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. To what extent he went to die for you and your trust in that love is your victory over fear amen yes the spirit of sound mind sound. all these are spirits oh the spirit of a sound mind is that spirit god was telling joshua to have Spirit of sound mind is also called the spirit of courage. Mm. Amen. Yes, sir. Are you sure you're okay, Jim? Yes, sir. A courageous man has a sound mind. Yes, sir. Amen. A mind that is naughty, that is naughty, affected with these negative things. Amen. So you need the that soundness of mind. Amen. You need the spirit of power. Because no, because this is a spirit. You don't just confront it with this. But this bullet should carry power in order to your fearlessness. Yes, sir. Your understanding of the love of God will empower you to fire this bullet which will carry this against the fear. Amen. One spirit, three spirits to attack it. A person with a fortified mind solidified by the word of God. A person who believes the love God has for him, mm. who understands that God loves me so much that he had to send Jesus to die. Listen, why do people fail to give? They don't trust the love of God. That he loves them enough to take care of them. So he can't tell them give them any letter on to destroy their lives. Fear is a spirit one of us. Actually, this fear, it has formed what we call strongholds in people's thinkings. Listen, it looks like just mentions fear, but fear is a doorway that allows every other spirit to have access to a person. Spirit of fear is a doorway. Spirit of fear is a doorway. The moment spirit of fear has come, it has opened the door for any kind of spirit to enter, whether sexual immorality can now enter. The one who goes with them is fear. Fear is the very opposite of faith. Fear gives access to the uh, access uh, grants access to the devil to torment a person. While faith gives access to God to bless a person. Amen. Amen. Faith comes by hearing. Fear Amen. too comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Fear comes by hearing and hearing the lies of the devil. Sir, it was through fear that the humanity was kept in bondage. Through the fear of death. The whole humanity was kept in bondage. People do not just need deliverance. 
they need to have a mindset, a phronesis, a mindset of wisdom, a mindset that is settled in the wisdom of the word of God. Amen. That they know that if I am delivered, I am free indeed. Amen. Amen. They don't, they don't live to live, they need to leave their house garnished. No. Fill the house. Jesus loves me more than I love myself. I trust what he has said concerning me. If God says I give my entire salary, he has taken care of me already. If God says I should do this, I should give Isaac as a sacrifice, it means he may bring him back to me in a resurrected form. This is what attacks fear. So with the spirit of fear comes many other spirits allowed by the doorway of fear. Many people's destinies are strangulated. They are afraid to make decisions. They are afraid of failing. Now something about fear, whatever you are of the, that fear you have fear of is exactly what that spirit does to you. Yes. The spirit that causes you to be, fe to be afraid of failure is the spirit that gives failure. <clears throat> exactly. That's a very spirit that gives failure. People are paralyzed in life. There are some people, they have potential. God has given them what all they are failing to do is to make a decision. Because that decision, you see, the decision will be like taking a risk. They wouldn't do it all. They wouldn't. There are some people, when they mirror, I told you that they would rather be in the middle, not in front, not at the back. They would rather be in the middle. Why should you be the one? Why not others? Has anyone else done what you are trying to do? No. But why do you want to be the one? Suppose you fail. Fear that maybe it didn't happen. Okay, we prayed. But suppose God didn't answer. He says to understand the, the love of God. Height, depth, this. Then you shall be filled with the fullness of God. Amen. People who see who are audacious, they just believe God. Say, Pastor, what you preached about, is it true that God raises the dead? Say, yes. So you mean it's true? Yes. Okay. He went about looking for a dead person. What we hear, we don't hear them for fight. God can say, I'm visiting you, but do you trust that he has visited you? The love of God. Amen. He loves you so much that he's with you. He's fighting for you. Amen. He's going with you in battle. But they have to believe it. Sound mind. Sound mind. They have to believe it. Believe. Joshua and Caleb say, we are well able. There will be bread. Let's go. Let's go at once. The difference was mindset. That spirit is dangerous. It has kept people in bondage. Potential people are bound. Some people don't even express themselves. They are afraid of being hurt. What if they don't accept me? Can I succeed in this town? There's no money here. The grace of God rests upon you. Amen.